Got another question for the transition elements playlist. So this one covers the reactions and colours of chromium compounds, electron configurations of transition element ions, and standard electrode potentials. As always, the link to the questions in the description of the video if you want to try it first. Okay, so we'll make a start. So in experiment one, the complex that's formed that has this purple colour is CrNH3-6 with a 3 plus charge. Next part, so experiment two, step one, when you add a small amount of sodium hydroxide to this, we're going to get the chromium-3 hydroxide precipitate. So in terms of the equation, you can either give the full equation like that, or you can give the simplified equation. Moving on to part three, so the complex ion that forms in experiment two, step two, is the one that has chromium in the middle with six hydroxide ligands around the outside. Obviously it's got an octahedral shape. So just make sure your connectivity is right and that it's the O that is bonded to the Cr in the middle. Charge wise, well we've got Cr3 plus in the middle, we've got six OH minus ligands around the outside. So overall it's got a three minus charge. Moving on to part four, so the ion that causes the yellow color is CrO42 minus. And for the final part of A, we're told that when the boiling tube is acidified in step four, it contains the Cr2O72 minus ion. This is the dichromid six ion, which is orange. Moving on to part B, so I'm starting with the electron configuration for the vanadium atom, which is that there. So to generate a three plus ion, we need to lose these two 4s electrons and one of these three d electrons. So we're moving on to the next part about the electrode potentials. You'll see I've circled three of these redox systems. So obviously we need one that's got VO2 plus in. You can see that's in four and six. However, it's going to be reacting with iron. So ions on the right hand side you can see in redox system two. So that means we need number four because the VO2 plus is on the left. So if we start by explaining this blue to green color change, if we have a look at the electro potentials for the two systems, you can see system four has got a more positive standard electro potential than system two. So that means that system four will move in the forwards direction, and it's blue to green color change, system two will go in reverse. So I'm just summarizing like this. So the blue to green color change is brought about because system four has a more positive standard electro potential than system two, meaning that system four moves from left to right, producing that green V3 plus ion. So you'll notice that V3 plus is also in system three. So if we compare the standard electro potentials of two and three, remember the ions in excess. So you can see that this one here is more positive and the iron one, so this will move left to right and create the violet colored V2 plus ion. So similar phrasing to before, green to violet color change due to system three having a more positive electrode potential than system two. So system three moves left to right, producing the V2 plus ion. So obviously that violet one there. And finally, we just got to write the equation for this color change blue to green. So system four, remember, goes in the forwards direction because it's got the more positive standard electro potential. System two goes backwards. So all we've got to do is look at the electrons. So you can see we've only got one electron here, but we've got two there. So we're going to double system four and add it to system two, which gives that equation there. 